Hi guys, welcome in this uh, MQL5 tutorial video and in this video I will show you how you can code this volume oscillator indicator and after I show you how to how to create this indicator I will tell you why uh, it is far far better option to use than for example the infamous MACD indicator so let's get to it uh, I am going to switch to my MT5 editor right here and I will create a new file of the custom indicator type called volume oscillator sorry like this and yeah and I will need one input parameter called analysis period so that's just our input variable that we will use for uh, calculating the trend and the initial value can be something like 25 uh, 10, 25 candlesticks so let's click ok we can leave everything like this let's click ok and as uh, this indicator is going to be an oscillator we want to click on this option so we want the indicator to be in a separate window we don't want to uh, set minimum and maximum values so that's not necessary for us to select right here but we will uh, want to add a new plot called hist we can call it uh, whatever we like to call it but i will call it like this and let's select color histogram uh, this means that the indicator will have multiple colors let's select the first color for example spring green and then so this is going to be for the uptrend and then for the downtrend we will select for example this orange red color and click on finish here you can see that uh, we have our uh, structure of the indicator here we have our um, visualization um, visual visualization section so here you can see the name of the visualization histogram here you can see what type we are using and here you can see the the colors of the histogram style and width we can uh, later change these colors for example but for now i will leave them as they are okay so let's get into the main stuff main part i will need uh, first of all i will need two arrays uh, first array, first array is going to be storing the volumes and the second array is going to be storing the distances and here right here on this on in function i need to resize the arrays so i can store multiple values into them so this is for the first one and for the distances array i will do the same thing so like this now I can move on to this on calculate function where I will create my static integer i variable which is equal to analysis period times 2 and then I will create this for loop and I will loop through uh, the i until the i is lower than rates total and I will increase the i value with each iteration and after this i will just specify that i is equal to rates total minus one so this is what we need for now now what i will do i will create another for loop for x variable for example but you can call it um, how you how you like uh, in this case it's going to be x let's set x to 0 and we want uh, to loop through until the x is lower than analysis period 
and we want also to increase the x with each iteration. So now we want to we want to populate uh, the the arrays that we have created right here with the correct values. So first, uh, firstly, what we want to do is to store the last x volumes or the stick volumes values into this volumes array so volumes at the position x is equal to tick volume at position i minus x so here we will have our volumes and let's do the same or almost the same thing for the distances so at position x and now uh, what we want to do is for each candlestick that we are uh, measuring we want to store the distance from it from its high to low okay so this is what we want to do so firstly we have to check if we are dealing with a bullish or the bearish candlestick so if close i minus x is larger than open i minus x then we are dealing with a bullish candlestick and we want to store the value like this minus low i minus x and in the other uh, case the other case is that we are dealing with the with the bearish candlestick we want to do the opposite i minus x minus high minus i minus x so this should be it this is just so that uh, we get positive distances for the uh, for for the bullish uh, candlesticks and we get negative distances for the bearish uh, candlesticks so this is it this is the part where we load the data into our arrays and let's move on after this we have to import a new class that can be used for uh, different mathematical functions and uh, it's going to make our lives easier so it's math stat normal dot mqh because it's a class so if i compile this everything should be okay okay so now <coughs> what we are going to do is to create our main value that is going to store the value for our indicator so for example if we check here you can see that here uh, we are getting positive values if uh, there's a bullish movement and if there's a bearish movement we are getting a negative values okay so let's uh, type the let's type this piece of code for our value so going to be very simple we want to get the mean volume and we want to multiply it by the mean distances so what this does so uh, with the math mean volumes this will always return a positive number because volumes or the stick volumes uh, values can be only positive but with this math mean uh, distances it can either return positive or negative values so this piece of code tells us whether we are dealing with a bull market or bear market and then uh, we want to know how strong this movement is and this is where this math mean volumes piece of code comes in 
so this part there tells us whether we are going up or down and this part tell us uh, how strong the movement is and with combinations of all of these we get a really precise value of how strong the current uh, trend is so i hope that's uh, something that i've explained well if not i'm sorry but you'll see how the visualization looks like on the chart and uh, we just have to do one more thing and that is to assign the uh, value to our indicator buffer and uh, select the color so his sorry his colors i and now we want to do something like this so if value is larger than zero then we want to use the green color and if not the red color so if i compile this it should be okay and now i'm going to close this chart we can use this one and i will open this uh, volume oscillator indicator on this chart and so let's see how it looks like okay so it seems like uh, I have managed to create the indicator as I uh, as I wanted to and here you can see some signals uh, you can you can check this uh, it's it's pretty pretty precise because we are using the volume parameter or the volume like uh, the we are weighting the distance by the volume therefore it's more precise than only using the price and just to show you that this is more precise than for example the MACD indicator I will also load here the MACD indicator so let's let's go from here and check what we see let's zoom in here and let's see some kind of a uh, big big trend right here the first thing that you can um, that you can notice here is that with the volume oscillator gives you uh, less smooth signals what that means is that with the MACD you can see that for example from this point down it goes very nicely smoothly down so it goes like it's like a very smooth curve but with this volume oscillator it's not that smooth because the volumes change and uh, as the volumes change also this histogram changes accordingly to it therefore for example at this point uh, it's not as smooth as the MACD indicator but it gives you more precise more precise reading of the charts so at this point you can you can see here that at this point we are getting a signal that we should be entering a bull mark uh, sorry the bearish market uh, but on the MACD indicator we are still in the bull market and as you can see right here uh, we are not continuing with the bull market and we are s slightly going down so in this case this was more precise next thing what we can see here is that for example at this point we are uh, receiving a signal from the volume oscillator that we are entering a bullish market so at this point we are entering a bullish market with the volume oscillator but with the MACD indicator we are entering at this point so it's not a huge difference but it's it's late and we can see all, all this this behavior like everywhere everywhere we uh, we check so for example at this point it gives pretty the same signal right here but let's see until when at this point it shows you that uh, it's losing its uh, its power so 
yeah it continues and at this point it tells you that there's a reversion with the MACD indicator you continue with the down movement until here so that's also a big difference I am using this indicator uh, myself because uh, from my experience it's really a good versatile tool and if you want to enhance your trading I would recommend to code this indicator for yourself and then use it on your own so thank you for watching and this is all for this video